What's going on, there? Thomas here. Welcome back to the Madison T Tournament for Season 1. It is Life Form a Vampire. That's the deck. And the idea is vampires and life. So this is one of those decks that could potentially clinch off of... You know, I will explain this in another basic video, but here's the basically how it is. There's two ways that a team can clinch, and the way they do can do they can clinch is either that they have an undefeated record. That means they will to skip round two. Either they have a hundred or more points, which two teams have done so so far, or it's undefeated. Those are the ways that it can potentially do it. Those are the only ways it can happen. And yes, at the end, at end of this round, the two teams with the worst position will be eliminated. I, wait, is that right? No. End of the second round, the two teams with the worst position will help be eliminated from the playoffs. So basically... Every one of these teams makes the playoffs as of right now. That is the way it works. And let's go ahead and get into the deck here. The deck is based very carefully around vampires. Life from a vampire is how it works. It's just gain life, basically using a bunch of vampires give a creature flying I think this deck is basically mostly is actually 30 vampires so it's it's pretty big pretty likely and we didn't do that. to do really well it's got storm which is the main basically the main character in the deck Although I put the other one up here. There are several copies of the Voyage Voyager, which gives us more length. Um, I think there's also a card in here that gives everything life link. I may be wrong about that. And as really is, this deck's not going to be legal. <laughs> because of these. But it's okay, we can remove them and we don't have to worry about it. Um, because the deck wouldn't be allowed to be played in Oh, it's a command deck. I can't say what's wonder where that is. It is going to be Life of a Vampire Treasure Deck against the Fox. Normally, I would put see those two cards, those cards I had that had eliminate, were I would not have normally have done that. But the fact is, in this round, and every round I'm going to get them out, you can't do that. All right, so we got some good cards in here. This is a good hand. Um, I love a good. I'm going to go and put the plain swamp in because I can't play anything. I'm going to start playing blue in the first round here. In the first round. Get this. Uh, we'll play this guy. Whenever it or another creature dies, that I control. Um, we're gonna put this in the field here because it's two. Play this, other vampires now. Oh, no, okay, I'm not paying There's no reason to convoke this. No lifelink, sadly. This guy is likely. No flying though. No blocks. We play this, even though we can't do anything. Um, we play Child of Night, which are several of them in the deck. Um, no, no reason to attack. This basically powers up everything else. Doesn't give them life points. And flying, and this one might be the toughest, toughest game, you know, because of the fact that it doesn't really have much against flying. You 
You know what? We'll block here. They'll die. They'll die. I gain free life. Yeah. And I get a trigger token as well. A blood token. Which one you make good, but you know. Play this on the field. We'll play this. If we have Ed and more permanent, I believe. Then has I have Stays Blessed, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have short two. This is not, I don't know if this counts as does it count as permanent? I might, it might be nine. Um, I'm gonna pass here. Oh, it doesn't tell me. There gotta be a permanent. I don't know if these count as permanent either. We have these places, so like I said, they count. Then we'll play. No, we don't want to destroy everything. Gosh. No! We'll play this! <laughs> wow! Yeah, I know. Wow, right? Um. We will do this. You can actually just have this card. It's not great for me to do that. I can now cast it. And now we can do this. Oh. 3 5. It's a 3 5. Whenever it's the best, if you build a top card of your library, put it in your hand. Each opponent loses X life, and you gain X life equal to that card's mana value. At the beginning of each upkeep. So that's actually going to be huge. We could easily have it, but. Unfortunately, it was not worth it. Play this guy. Um, each player sacrifices a creature. We'll do that. I will choose one vampire. You do your zero five. Okay, and we'll do the next one. We gotta do is you lose one. Probably gonna just transplant. Is it a non token creature? Nah, it's just a non token creature. They will gain life though from doing damage. Okay, so obviously we're gonna do this guy goes to here. I don't care about any of this other thing. Yep. We get some life. It is a land. Dang it. We'll, we'll play it. We'll play this. Um, we can also return all level two creatures, but unfortunately, we only have one creature. There's no point in doing that right now. We go to combat. We will. I'm gonna let myself draw a card and lose life, which does nothing. <laughs> um, actually, this does not have life link, does it? No. No, these things have lifelink. This guy has lifelink. But it powers up my other vampires. So, we'll play this in the second main phase. Get three more of these things on lifelink. Look, two of these guys die. Well, one of them die, and the other one survive, I guess. More life. Oh, it's three. That's nice. Put this in the field. We'll play this. Um, returning stuff doesn't do me any good. I will transform it. What else I'm going to do? Each creature with flying death touch or lifelink gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. <sighs> and that's everything. <laughs> everything has that. Uh, unfortunately, I well apparently I can't activate it. You've got to learn to planes walk before you can planes run. Yeah, don't care. Uh, yeah, okay. Each creature you control with flying, death touch, and or life point gains plus one plus zero. Well, we're going to activate the ability, right? We get it anyways. Everything. This is plus one to zero. It doesn't actually give me extra benefits. <laughs> Your attack is zero five, guy. 
Well, since you're doing that, I will be really nice and do you five damage. <sighs> do it five damage. We need five life. We're in a position now we can just attack over here, though. <laughs> Alright, so we're in position now. Activate the ability. We'll activate it again. And we'll activate it a third time. We don't need to play this guy. <laughs> Everyone attacks, it's lethal. And I gain. But he's a 56! So we're halfway already to that point. I probably could have attacked earlier, but um, I had to. I was trying to think. Right? We're at 56 points, which means we're halfway with that one deck. I'm gonna need to be a little better though because I do think I was in a position I think could have won earlier. Oh, he had creatures on the ground, so you know. I don't. I, it, it would be, I don't think it would have won. Let's see what we're playing against next. We are playing against. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. We'll do it. This looks like a good spot for some practice. Is there just tap? You can't play anything. Maybe they're here. We're playing against red this time. Playing this guy. Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna make. This is a target creature, so I mean, I can target that creature technically. <laughs> but why would I want to do that? That's the question. Okay, this guy. Um, I can discard a card to give it flying. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and activate this guy, which is other vampires plus one plus one. Like one. No, just one plus one. <laughs> Oh, two goblins. This deck this is going to be a different challenge. Tough challenge. And I think we have to take the damage here because like, we can't afford that down top. We get a land. Um, We could potentially play this. And we're going to do that because it gives us three vampires. And we can also convoke. We can actually use this to convoke. Keep it two plus two plus two and flying. So we'll target this guy because that makes sense. Auto pay. What made of these? Well, that was pointless. <laughs> you should have done the other guy. We'll go with the two damage and one. So that got me get two more life back. So we didn't do any, take any damage at all. We're gonna get everything. Auto pay. We're not going to convoke. No reason to do that. We'll pass. We're not in position right now to win. He's got you know, six creatures in the field. We have to, we have to get more defense, defense. Are we? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven notices. Seven notices right now? We can get. With this, I think we are going to get two. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. We'll have ten next turn. I can discard a card to get it flying, guys. That's that, that's wonderful. So they, they, they can't actually attack right now. Oh, shock two damage to me. Well, oh well. We're gonna do this. We'll then convoke this guy. We will tap. No, not. It's gonna tap those two creatures. I don't wanna tap those two creatures though. Anything good over there? Well, what? Okay. God, 
got anything good over there? No, I don't know. This will give me life back. Some life. Okay. <laughs> okay, I need to go back though. This is a 3-3, three, three, so we want to get rid of this guy and this guy. Didn't have the order. The other one won't matter. And then, yeah. Whoa, that's going to leave a mark. What? We go at 26. So we're back to, we're now even. Well, now we're not even anymore. That did not give me anything. <laughs> no, we'll give every, all the vampires plus two plus one plus one. Give everything in the deck anyways. Um... We're gonna go ahead and do. I'm trying to figure out how long. Do I can. Can I win the game right now? Not quite, but I can almost do it. I can do damage, which will be enough. I will gain no life from it though. Situational. No, I can't attack any creatures. I want to. <laughs> you got me. And apparently it didn't matter. Oh uh, well, that yeah. So I got twenty-eight <laughs> add to my total. And still win. There's eighty four. So in the the only case, if it somehow doesn't get at least 16 points through these next three games, it, it's going to have to. For some friendly competition. Well, I can't play anything, so we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, this is a plain swap like this. Super likely. It's gonna be interesting though, because this is probably a pretty tough challenge too. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no box. Not worth it right now. I'll play this guy. And nope. It still doesn't make any sense. He, he won't lose, he will not lose life when I do that. That, why? That was the wrong guy, he should attack this. So, see, the boss aren't always the smartest. <laughs> I will say that. I'm going for this guy, we'll convoke. Yeah, all day. Maybe better now, two twos. It should have, I will say this, Mistake it made here, it should have did it that creature. Only one. Fields. And we'll attack the three. Three, 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 three. Always have lifelink. Or she doesn't have a lifelink, but who cares? Eh, well. They both die. Still get plenty of life. 29. So at this point right now, it's, unless I lose, this deck is going to be insured a, a spot. Okay. control, okay. Opponent controls. It doesn't matter we have Leaf on board, I believe. Right? Yeah, we should have Leaf. Is this, is, this should be Leaf on board. Yeah, Leaf on board. We get 38 life and 30... It goes to 122, which means it still has to play the other two games because it could rank because it could end up getting a higher position. But as of right now, if we went to the board, can you go to the board, please. I moved it for a second. It's clinched 
at a black white deck, three and zero means at minimum it's going to be twelfth place. That's assuming it loses the rest of the games. But if it goes undefeated, it, it it is clinched. So yeah. Next game. And this is still a pretty good. Hit. Let's get started. Um. Play this. We can't play it. So. Um. We'll play a swamp here. We can't play anything still, but you know. We'll play this. We'll play this guy because he's you know, flying and then two, two. I also cha exchange life points to the opponent. <laughs> we'll play this. I don't think they have. We don't have any permits, but we'll attack with two two. We block. No. No life link though, so. Both of these, and they can go to I don't think this deck's gonna get the highest out because it's just gonna have the uh, abilities. Destroy all creatures or destroy all artifacts and enchantments. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think that makes any sense. We now have the city's blessing. So now we'll attack, bring him down, and potentially there's potential if it is Soren that or the one of the creature. Potentially, this is it. It's not it, but it's close. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't have anything to find, so we just, we just need to attack one creature. Oh, he does have two creatures. He will have to block one of them. But the other one will go through. Yeah, so I, I had to do it that way. 25 life, though. We have not. It's at one. Four points. It goes to 147. I'm not even showing the. I mean, yeah, I'm not even showing. I didn't even show that game. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. <laughs> There's victory for me. I apologize for that. I uh, I got 25 in that game. I'll cut that game just because it doesn't make any sense. So basically. In that game, uh, it was not even close. <laughs> they scored tw it's the deck scored twenty five. You saw me doing that, but it life of a vampire moves in four to at minimum the worst it can do. It's already clinched, by the way. The thing is, winning this last game. We'll put it in first place. That's what will happen. Um, it will move it to first place if it does, in fact, win this game. If it loses, it will go to 
If it loses, actually right now, if it loses, it will move to third place. So it's gonna get at least third. Um, if it somehow ties, then I'll have to... <laughs> this is actually not a good hand, but we'll keep it because... Let's get started. Get field, think anything else. I'm playing as blue again, so great. Oh, well, we'll play that. We'll play the other vampire. Other vampires get plus two. Cool. It's starting. It did start off a lot better. This enters, and it will enter as a one one. Now we'll put a two two on the field. We're just gonna make three three actually. No attacks. <clears throat> This is gonna be fun when I play that creature in two. Hopefully, get it. I want there. I want a uh, different land. But unfortunately, didn't get. So we will simply put this guy, which is a two-two. Um, I will attack. Well, that was dumb. Doesn't matter the order. It doesn't have trample. <laughs> it didn't. Got zero five turtle now. No box. I'll take damage. Play this. Now my creatures have a lifeline. Creatures and planeswalkers have life actually. I will do one damage to target creature or planeswalker. Target player or planeswalker. Well, I will do it to myself. <laughs> what a mess I've made. And because you lost one life, I will gain this will gain a count. So yay, it's now a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> and it makes sense for him not to be attacking there. I'll play this. Those are vampires must one by one. I can now return to our creature of Adam Alley X. So it's a vampire. It's digital large types. One, one problem with that is it's already a vampire. <laughs> so it's an a vampire vampire creature. I'll do one damage to you, though. I mean, this will go up by one. Is a useful trait. And this is my thing. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I think right now it makes more sense not to attack with that creature, because he can tank with block multiple creatures. Okay, well, it becomes a 3-3, three, three, but who cares? <laughs> Not provoke me. I abhor my need for blood. Actually, we need to leave that because Okay, well. It gained three life. <laughs> this guy still gets a counter. You now have two vampires, could you? We're st are we? It's plus two. We'll do one damage to him. We can't target anything else. By the way, I will point out for you guys that don't know this. Sparky doesn't have any planeswalkers in his deck. Um, we'll put this guy. And you know what? We'll attack the five. We'll attack the front. We'll attack the back. We'll attack the back. I think so. I get I get plenty of life from this. Meh. Don't get the order. It was to kill all of them anyways. And I get, and I go to forty four. And this guy's three counters, by the way. And this guy transforms. 
I'll keep a good vampire. <laughs> that is. So I can deal one damage to him. Actually, should I kill him that way? I mean, we'll play this guy. No point. No. Um, I can get one life of this, and then just because every one of these things has life link, we can attack with everything. <laughs> this guy has life link too, but I can't attack with him. So this guy has life link too, but he can't. I can't attack with him either. Which means he does, in so fact, get win five and zero. Oh. 64 life. Sixty-four. Which means he gets the mall he does demolishing. Plus sixty-four, which means he actually doesn't go up to if we were looking at placement, he goes up to first place. And consistently I don't think he's going to lose that easily. I'm sorry we missed one game, but uh, that was that was my bad. Um yeah. <laughs> so with that, looking at this, he's for sure already he's going to skip round 2 completely. That means 5 decks will skip round 2. Which means we're only going to have 15 decks. And Tangle, it would point out that it would have been physically possible for a deck that skipped round two to be eliminated. Theoretically, it could happen. Is it going to happen? No, but likely. But theoretically, if a deck didn't get 30, 30 points. Lost, you got two and two and three. Even if it, even if it, even if it went one with all five, it's still well. No, there's no possible. There's no possibility. I'm just thinking because there's. I was thinking, hey, well, there's a possibility. Technically, if it's skip, it can't skip because uh, five and zero oh puts it up here, and then two. Even if it gets two and three. It's going to be higher than both of these decks. So, yep. So that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And life is good.